This video describes the basic features of the event management application of the ServiceNow iTom Health product. The event management application helps identify health issues across the data center on a single management console. We can use it to monitor the health of services through the service dashboard, view all alerts impacting services, manually create application services, create alert groups, and create dynamic configuration item groups. First, let's take a look at the service dashboard in the service operations workspace. You can access the dashboard from service operations workspace. It shows our business services, color-coded to indicate their status. Here we can adjust the tile size by clicking the gear icon and choosing a size. Filter services using the filter icon. View services impacted by an alert. And exclude a severity from the dashboard display by using the severity breakdown ribbon. We can group the services by severity, business criticality, location, service group, or service portfolio. We can also segment the group services by severity, business criticality, or cost. Hovering over a service tile displays the tooltip overview of the service. Clicking a service gives us the number of alerts impacting the service and their severity breakdown. Here, we can navigate to the service map and then select a map component to view its properties. We can also view service details and find all the alerts associated with the service. We can also create a customized list on the page by choosing the filter conditions and then saving the list. An alert list includes the alert severity, priority group, priority, and the associated configuration item. We can click an alert to view its details. We go to the Application Service page and select New. We provide a name, change the operational status to Operational, and select Next. Here, we'll choose a service population method. We want to populate the service by manually selecting CIs. We select a class, and then choose the CIs to populate the service. We've added a service population method. Before we create the service, we can preview it and edit its relationships. We don't want to modify the relationships, so we select Done. And we've created our application service. Alerts can be grouped together based on a condition. To create a group, we go to the Alert Queries page and select New. We enter the name and change the operational status to Operational. Next, we'll specify our condition, all non-critical alerts. Now, we save the form and update. If we go to the Dynamic CI Group page and choose the group we created from the drop-down list, we can find the alerts that were included in the group. We can also find this alert group on the service dashboard. We can view its details and find the total number of non-critical alerts. We go to the Dynamic CI Groups page and select New. We enter the name, change the operational status to Operational, and save the form. Now let's select a CMDB group to create a service based on it. We could choose an existing CMDB group, but we'll create a new one. We enter the group name and save the form. That creates the group. Now let's add some configuration items. We want to add hardware configuration items, so we set up a filter and run it. Then we choose the items we want to include, add them to the group and save the form. 
Next, we attach the CMDB group we created to the Dynamic CI group and save it. The Dynamic CI group is created. We can view the service CIs associated with the group. We can find this Dynamic CI group on the service dashboard. We can select it and go to service details to find the related alerts and associated CIs. The event management features we've just seen help you identify health issues across your data center. For more information, see our product documentation or knowledge base, or ask a question in the ServiceNow community.